More lessons in basic You don't reality. have anything, do you? My favorite part of the day. Go ahead, ask me anything. A bird? A Svenisid? A flightless bird of the polar regions? Some sort of krill hunter? No, wait. You're an ancient ruin. A symbol of hubris and decay. Half submerged in some salty sea. Are you saying I'm ruined? Of course you're not, my dear. I'm just terrible at guessing games. This place, it's lovely, really. I'm thinking of buying it. Hmm. It's different now because it's, she's in a different place, but it wasn't quite uh, lit up. Uh, really? Actually, yes. The thought did cross my mind when Mademoiselle Lillian over there told me about the fresh produce these women sell to restaurants on the Delta. You both turn to consider the young woman. She's hunched over a net, methodically picking out ribbons of plastic. This place could use a competent manager. There's so much to be done. But then I'll never get round to it, will I? There is regret in her voice. For all the countless things she never had time to do with her money. Doubtless I'll be off someplace keeping social classes from each other's throats. Glad to have been of assistance. The little that... Of course. Anything to help. I am sorry to have been the... Of course. Of course. How else can I help? What we... There was a touch of this... She nods. Well, technically speaking, I'm not on it right now. Good. Oh? Mr. Everard is helping me to, to find my gun. Oh. That's so... helpful of him. Her eyes become large and round. The lieutenant looks at you, and you can swear his jaw muscle is trembling. When I said, be wacky, I didn't mean wildly, grossly irresponsible and damaging to the RCM. <laughs> Shit. And conventional police officers sometimes lose their guns. They then go around and tell people about this, to gauge their reactions. It's all part of detecting. Incredible. Simply incredible. And how is it going? Has this detecting produced a gun? Mr. Everard is helping me find my gun. Ah, uh, yes. As you said. <laughs> She looks confused for a moment. Please, don't get him in a loop. If he gets in a loop, it will last forever. Ask him to say something else, please. That's wrong. You don't get into loops. Of course. Thank you for the advice. I'm glad you were here to assist. Your other dealings with Everard are still of considerable interest to me. The lieutenant will be more lenient toward sharing those, hopefully. I helped him turn up the heat on the borscht. Did you now? The cook what makes sort of it. Borscht is he making? She's, in, she's intrigued, if a little confused. The cook makes it to keep the strikers drunk, helps them strike. The strike brew. That's a classic. And by turn up the heat, I presume you mean put more alcohol in it? <laughs> yes. Why, if I may ask? Why make them more drunk? Aren't they corked enough already? Yes, detective. What were you hoping to accomplish with this strange thing? I don't even remember if I did put more alcohol in it or 
uh, less, I mean, not at all. Not at all. Also, none of it uh, explains why I did it. I just did it to, uh, for more chaos. Or at least wanted to do it for more chaos. It's uh, uninteresting. I thought it would make uh, the boar broth uh, taste better. Very curious. A very curious thing to do. It gives me experience, so... <laughs> it also, like... Uh, it doesn't really encourage you to withhold information that, that much, does it? Truly. But that's how he operates. He just does things, man. And then talks about them, even if it's inappropriate. A strange equanimity has overtaken the lieutenant. He's just going with the flow now. Easier that way. What else? Hmm. Fuck. <sighs> so the emperor wanted uh, this information to be given to them, so it's part of his plan. She wants this information to be given to them, but Kim doesn't. I guess I'll I'll tell them about little things, but won't tell them that it, this is a takeover. The money you gave me, would that make things weird? If I shared information, I mean. Weird? Oh no. I feel like I One already told... One of the positive told... things to come from the revolution is that... the unhindered exchange of information you see. Which isn't to suggest our talks constitute I think I corporate said that, but then espionage. Something happened and Even I if just they forgot did, to it would be read fine. it. The lieutenant might have, but I don't remember you logging anything as anything, Harry. He asks me to deliver an envelope. Sounds like he has you running errands, detective. He here. A well-established dominance ritual. Where did he have you deliver it? Here? Oh no. What does that bloated hellbat want with my little cinderblock town? She looks around. It's clear the village has already grown dear to her. Strangely so. Why did she come here? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know what he has in store for this place. Probably a statue. It's a statue, right? A giant statue of him. Or better yet, his twin brother. Practically the same thing, but makes him seem less like a psychopath. You are quite fond of this village, aren't you? I should be. In my youth, I had a brief dalliance here in Martinez. He was an older man with impossibly broad shoulders. He's probably dead by now. Even his shack is long gone. Not that it matters. These buildings are all carbon copies of one another. You've been to Martinez before? Yes. I was slumming it with some girlfriends of mine. We had boats and... Don't hold it against me. My paramour certainly did not. She smiles. Sounds like you missed those times. Not overly so. It's not like this was the only place we visited. Me and my girlfriends from Azon with our shiny boats. Like reavers. We told ourselves we were the worst thing to happen to the coast since the Coalition landed in 08. Imagine. She does us her head. Oh no. She's sentimental alright. Why would she come here otherwise? Why did you come here then, uh, to this jetty? I'm over-radiated, Harry. I do silly things sometimes, out of pale related illness. Like sail over here. The moral of the story is... Hmm. 
Specialists. Do not spend 22 days a year in pale transit. Don't waste your 20 slumming it with your stupid friends. And don't deliver Evrat Claire's mail. Her bony finger is pointing like an arrow at your chest. Are you satisfied, detective? What else can you tell me about your mail delivery quest for Everard? Do you think it will improve the place? Would you prefer he wants to build a youth center here uh, for the children of Martinez? A youth center with Edgar Clare's statue on top of it. She looks down the jetty remorsefully. Go ahead. Help him. Make it so. I have no power to stop him. You would prefer something else, not a youth center. First, there won't be a youth center. Whatever he has told you or the residents, there'll be something horrific. Perhaps even worse than a statue. So, yes, I do. Like what? A uh, fishery. I've been speaking with Lillian here. She gave me the idea. The infrastructure is all here, and with my connections... Sadly, it's just one of the million things I'll never get round to. I just have to accept that I'll never be the rich candy girl who goes around solving people's problems with money. So you are sad you can buy the place? Yes. I'm sad I'll never have the time, detective. I've always wanted a dilapidating fishing village. She is more defensive about it than usual. Full of ghosts and ancient memories. Has this errand yielded you any information? You asked me to open a door. A referral, you mean? I take it this was for someone in the RCM. Don't answer that. My liege, this woman has half convinced herself already. All it would take is a little nudge. Hmm. But isn't that worse? Yes, our referral. Such referrals may sometimes get you information from a man like Evrat. Did it? She says, raising an eyebrow. Detective, I advise you to be very selective with what information you choose to share. This may have consequences beyond our line of sight. Man, I feel like I already just screwed up. Like from the first thing I said about the gun. He means beyond the coming days and weeks. Or the grasp of newspaper and radio reports that may trickle to your desk if you ever return to Precinct 41. In the far future. Union's militant wing to fully cooperate with the investigation. I've wrote to ask to the Union's militant wing to fully cooperate with the investigation. How benevolent. Hopefully they'll help you sort this whole business out, if they haven't already. While we appreciate your assistance, ma'am, I'm afraid we can't discuss the specifics of an ongoing investigation with you. That is only fair. Why can't we? I have a reason to believe the lynching was a cover-up. Oh my. Very interesting. So the militant wing is protecting one of their own. Her mind races to the conclusion that most benefits her interests. That doesn't mean she's wrong though. It looks like you may untie this knot yet. Avrat says the Wild Pines sent mercenaries after the Union and now one's dead. Misinformation. This is all because we haven't shared information on the lynching yet. See? Already the adversary uses it to their advantage. Don't let him. She shakes her head vigorously. Hurry up on that probe. The moment you tell me you're finished at the traffic jam, I will gladly tell you the company's side of the story. Hmm. She must really want you 
to look into the drugs. But didn't I already Otherwise finish she'd it? Tell you. She was worried for a moment that she's overplayed her hand by not sharing info sooner. Then she settles down, curious to hear more. That's all I've got to say. Yeah, this could be actually damaging. I guess that's why Kim said that. Naturally, Detective. There are lighter topics to gossip about. Of course, Detective. You can always... Uh, now to add uh, that I need to talk about what the drug trafficking with Everard. Uh, there was nothing about the reality check with Joyce. Also, there was another topic that I didn't check, but I think it's You're back. <laughs> all grayed out. Told. Is there anything else I can help you with? Okay, Katarina. Inside, we see, see a if I can talk to her. Case, a radio microphone. This is precinct fifty-seven. I How can't I really. Wow. Why not? Oh, come on. Well, that's dumb. Ten four, come in. Uh, Fireworker, over. I'm happy to report that I have found my bad jewels. Ten four, sir. Glad to hear that. I'll write down that there is no need to issue a new one to you then. Over. Roger that. Ten ten. Uh, well, that's annoying. For something odd. Wish they made a fast travel there too. Oh. Oh a yeah, they told me to get the like radio. Any of those found in countless waiting rooms, lounges, and other semi-public spaces all over the world. Kim, how do I get the transceiver out of this thing? There's usually a little switch somewhere. Ah yes, it's the one that says release. The lieutenant points uh, to the side of the radio. The lock disengages with a nice click. You may now safely remove the transceiver unit. There's nothing obviously remarkable about it. It's about the size of a common pasta box with knobs of molded plastic. What else is there to say? If this transceiver were a person, it would be an accountant at a large logistics firm. Perfectly competent, but unexceptional. I prefer a transceiver with a little more flesh and style. There is something ominous about this radio transfer, the transceiver. It's an ill omen. Sorry for stealing you, transceiver, but there was no other way. I guess pure functionality is itself a kind of aesthetics. I guess pure fun functionality is itself a kind of aesthetics. I suppose it does have a certain no-nonsense appeal, if you prefer that sort of thing. The transceiver appears quite at peace with its appearance. Mm. 
Do you think we uh, will actually be able to reach the coalition with this? You've surprised me more than once during the course of our investigation. But I have to say, it still seems like a remote scenario. He shrugs. How does this compare to your Dyna Wave Cam? It doesn't, frankly. Don't get me wrong. This appears to be a fine transceiver for a general audience, but it's not something a serious radiohead would use. He shrugs. Well, I guess this will just have to do then. I suppose it will. With its transceiver gone, the radio has ceased its persistent buzzing. It is as silent as a headstone. Yeah, I almost forgot about this too. <laughs> but it's it's in the tasks, so I would have saw it later. Can I check Rene's place now? This is the night watch. Nah. Perfectly adequate transceiver. A common radio transceiver produced by a generic manufacturer, there must be tens of thousands like it all over the world, each one indistinguishable from every other. Return to its original position. Mr. Dubois. Every worker for himself, right? What? Great! You want to bounce something off your old friend Mr. Clare, right? Well, absolutely, Harry. What's on your mind? I'm always happy to educate and entertain you. Very nice, Harry. Most certainly, Harry. By all but means, But there's Harry, nothing. What what's the fuck? On your mind? <laughs> she told me that she will give me more information, but then, like... There's nothing to talk about. <sighs> or it's just he's hidden in grayed out areas of the lines somewhere. Yeah, I'm not going to bother this much. Yes, that's it. What else can I do? Go back to the church. Smart very negatively affecting the entire neighborhood, including the doomed commercial area. The where pale. Oh yeah, tell about uh, that to two of our guys. The problem is. <laughs> told her it was a spirit. That's almost the same thing. Again, gendarme. Bye bye, gendarme. Hello, dear. It's good to see a familiar face. 
Irish doctor, the empty trap, uh, where is Morel? Thank you for doing that, dear. She manages a smile for you. Her smile is weary. Her earlier ebullience has left her. Morel still isn't feeling well. I convinced him to stay at Gary's to get some rest. I'm afraid the cold has really gotten to him. She looks down at her hands. It's probably for the best. It's awfully cold out there in those reeds. I'm sorry, dear. You've had to drudge through them so many times. Such is field work. A young person's game, as they say. Her voice is shaky. What is going on here? So, uh, who is uh, going to check the traps? Morel will eventually. Or we'll talk Gary into going back out, perhaps. The lieutenant stares at his shoe, caked in mud. He doesn't say anything. We'll take care of it. Once more into the bridge then. That really is too much, sweetie. Thank you for your dedication, but I can see you're coming down with a cough yourself. Very strange. Why is she not letting you do this? It's like she's given up. Lena, what's wrong? Are you seem different? Different? How? The half moons of her glasses reflect you as she looks up at you. So uh, she think she feels very bad for lying about this fast meat. So uh, her husband has to get cold out there, get sick, just because of her lie, and now it's, it's getting out of hand. Answering a question with a question, for example. Defensive isn't her usual style. You are not telling me the whole story. I'm not. It's not that. She doesn't know how to end the sentence. What is it? It's a... A strange feeling. I haven't really told this to anyone, but... You are a police officer. She looks down, biting her lower lip. And when a police officer asks, you must answer. Do you ever wonder if some lovely story from your childhood is just that? A story? Or a dream? Get on with this. <laughs> I already know what you have to say. Seeing the Insulindian Phasmid was just a story I used to tell people. I didn't really think about whether it was real or not. But Morel told me you'd seen it, uh, you also told me. Morel's so proud of it, he always tells everyone. A terrible sting in the heart. Regret. Are you saying you made it up? No, at least I don't think I did, but Morel was so eager to believe my story was evidence of the Phasmid's existence. What? You still deny that you lied? That I'm some queen of the cryptozoologists. That. And for years his belief made me believe too. That I am a queen? An extraordinary witness to grace. But now we're both getting old and he's still working himself sick out in those reeds looking for it. But what if I was just wrong? I think I was... She shakes her head, still unable to meet your eyes. The lieutenant opens his notebook, but doesn't write anything. Oh damn, it's a red one. 72% though. An acorn is not the same as the tree. That requires time, diligence, and care. A 
wrong or not, your relationship with Morel isn't just about the Phasmid. Or talk to yourself more. And I need more, uh, need something good here. All qualities these two seem to share in abundance. Wrong or not, your relationships with Morel isn't just about Father Fosmid. But it is. We've spent years searching for the Fasmid, hunting it together. Without it, what are we? Just another pathetic old couple. I mean, there is a truth to that. <laughs> that without this hook in the beginning, I don't know if the relationship would grow as much as it did. If I hadn't led him down this path, he could have a steady job lecturing at a university. You know, this reminds you of the Perikonassian theory of love. In essence, love is a relay out of death. Generation by generation, our love remains in our progeny. Lay some of that on her. I don't know if she <laughs> is if that would help. Morel hated lecturing. You convinced him to do something real in this world. Uh, normally, when I think about stuff like women and marriage, I feel bad. Uh, when I think about you and Morel, I feel okay. And <laughs> that counts for something, no? Hmm. I mean, none of this is good. <laughs> Even the third one is better than the second one. Something real in this world. It's not real. Normally, when I think about the stuff uh, like women in marriage, I feel bad. When I think about uh, you and Morel, I feel okay. That counts for something, no? Oh, of course it counts for something. But we've had our hard times, too. She looks down at her legs. I was a paraplegic before we met. He didn't know before I arrived. On our first date. If I weren't the queen of the cryptozoologists, if I didn't tell him that story, he'd still be into you. That's how these things work. Maybe, but then why do I not dare tell him? I've wasted enough of your time with this drama. I really must stop talking about it lest I start crying and waste more of your time. I mean, the problem with this is the fact that she didn't actually tell us the truth. She said uh, that, like, when we straight up asked, you made it up, she said no. <laughs> and then said something like, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> like, what the fuck? What you have to know is, the Insulindian Phasmid probably does not exist. What? Let us chase our ghosts. What, what, what? There are a million better things to do with your life. <laughs> are there? Some of the other things are pretty bad. I wonder if I will be, will be able to find it <laughs> if I still keep doing it in this game. I mean, that would be funny. So all of it is just trying to convince her otherwise? 
you're right about all of it, so I, and I need to get uh, to back to my real work. Yes, I should go now. Poor Morel is running a fever. I need to get him home to Jamrock before we overstay our welcome with Gary. Are you sure you don't need help getting to Gary's? Oh no, thank you, but I can get there on my own. This old thing is gas-powered. And then a taxi home. It's not so bad. Uh, <clears throat> she taps her chair. <laughs> Gas-powered wheelchair? <laughs> The rest of it is pretty grim. Thanks for bringing some light. You're welcome, sweetie. I'm glad it helped you, even though it turned out to be a... Uh, the sentence remains unfinished. Uh, she flicks a switch on her chair and the engine turns on with a whir. A waste of time. A dream. A lie. Hmm. A fool's hope. Say her lips move him in silence. Hmm. Like That's that, cool one. she drives off. The gas engine quietly as she gets to the doors, then pushes them open. Outside, it's snowing. We should go to. Done with cryptozoologist uh, business. <laughs> I didn't know that uh, we actually had something. Hmm. Should I talk to the boys? The copper nado is bad. Mm, that's what a nice one. Yeah. What? Um. Is Titus has the same voice actor as the reptilian brain? Probably. Again? I can't. His accent is also sounds uh, a bit Russian. I think he's supposed to be French. Snowflake is like a little gift from the sky. Shut up. There are a small mountain of colorful here. board game boxes. There are numerous types of games for all ages. A lot of shelf space seems to be taken up by we're our related merchandise. I don't remember what we are all supposed to be. Hello again, esteemed officer, and welcome to crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. Poor Brian, so I have uh, something to tell you. I found uh, the actual source of doom. What do you mean, actual source? I thought this issue was resolved. My investigation has led me to discover a 2mm uh, anthropogenic call in reality that's uh, the source of doom, both in the commercial area and in Martinez. Uh, a what? A tiny hole, um, in reality, it uh, may be connected with pale uh, and origin point of sorts. It uh, would explain why, uh, historically, so many things have ended in failure here in Martinez. Ma'am, what he's saying is true. 
we found an anthroponetic anomaly in the small pine wood church down the coast. I don't mean to be an alarmist, and more research is needed, but it's not looking good. But, but that's not in any of the ancient texts. How am I supposed to protect my bookstore from that? Tell her the truth. It's out of her hands. Maybe we will get the discount because she's closing up. That would be nice. You can't protect it, it's not against pale. Close up the shop and try to get as far away from this thing as possible. You can protect it with hope by re refusing to give up. That's why what people have done in the past by building a church, a place of worship around this thing. You'll have to find your own answer. I've spent too long on this quest as it is. So a rhetoric tells me to... To go for one. <clears throat> and the third one is breaking the fourth wall. You can't protect it, not against pale, so close up the, the shop and try to get as far away from this thing as possible. Close the shop? But it's all I have. No, there must be a way. Thank you for your help in any case. You're welcome back here anytime. <laughs> I like how she immediately just switched to indifference. A small mountain of colorful board game boxes. There are numerous types of games for all ages. A lot of shelf space seems to be taken up by Wirau related merchandise. Hmm. Now, let's save money just in case. You never know. Uh, isn't this Contact Mike, the boxing champion? Hmm. Oh, it's you again. Are you looking for a die? Shivers. We need. This one gives shivers. Ah, shit, there was uh, um, other shivers related checks and I forgot about, I mean, I never saw this shirt. I think all, all else doesn't actually give more shivers. Oh, it's you again. Are you looking for a die? Hmm. I don't want to waste drink. Aside from getting naked, you're not sure what else to do. The building holds no more answers for you. <laughs> oh, I think I found the actual source of the curse. I thought we agreed that the curse isn't real. It's a bit more complicated than I first thought it would be. I'm listening. Oh, there's a two millimeter hole in uh, reality located in a church on the other side of the canal. I think it might be related to the pale. Excuse me? A two millimeter hole in reality? This can't be true. 
She sits up, visibly agitated. I'm afraid it is, man. Sona Lucan and Kilda, the former lead programmer of Fortress Accident, made the discovery. Sona is involved in this? She appears to take this in while the chatter from her headphones continues unabated. So it's <coughs> even worse than I thought. It's not just the commercial area that's cursed, it's the entire world. So you lied? <laughs> so you knew about the cursed commercial area but decided to deceive us? To convince us that it's not real? She looks outside the window where daylight has filled the yard. <clears throat> I mean, I agree with her, it's doomed. This thing will grow at some point, but maybe at that point they will have a better technology? It's what I have uh, preached the whole time, and no one listened. A curse is something superstitious, but a 2mm hole in reality? We all know what it means. It's pale. She gives you a rueful smile. In any case, thank you for stopping by. It's good to have an answer, even if I can't claim to understand it fully. Hmm. So another skill point. <clears throat> Was there a visual calculus related uh, thing? No, it, it was concept. Which uh, I don't really care about. Thoughts. Shit. Um, I guess I could give up this one. Actually, mm, they also give you some extra lines, and Motorway South is one of the. It's about pale. God damn it. The million pain threshold. Psyche learning caps. I don't really care about learning caps. Hmm. I guess I could give this up. Now about that door.
Well, can't do this. Mm, but maybe we will progress on that thing soon. Still, this one is not available. And all armor pieces too. No lead on the uh, helmets. You're back. Good. More lessons in basic reality. My favorite part of the day. What work? The camera of her mind. Great body. It must be. This is the greatest and the kindest arrangement the atoms had in them. There is a term of endearment they coin for it, in the DeLorean century, when humanity was high on this world, discovering more and more of it, these Elysium. There are those who would call it a term of hatred that originates like many such things. Let's. I am, after all, bourgeois. And glad to have been of assistance. The little that I... Oh yeah, and uh, related to Rar. Uh -oh. No. Of course, detective. Whatever. I the sea's gonna calm down. What is it? I found the radio transceiver. Ah, very good. Let's see what you have. I found this in an office by the harbor. Not the most advanced model, but at least everything appears to be in order. Yes, this should serve our purposes. I believe that means we're ready to get started. I should warn you, once we begin setting up this antenna, we'll need to see the whole process through. There won't be any second chances. Any do-overs, you understand? So if there's anything you'd like to get in order before we depart, I suggest you do it now. What does she mean by this? Wait, 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 didn't you say we need more kind of power supply? Ah, yes. I wasn't sure what to do about that, but then I discovered an abandoned power source down by the edge of the bay. It's obvious. She's referring to your half-sunken Caprice 40. Oh, you mean the motor carriage that I crashed into the bay? Oh, yes. I did notice that it was covered in police livery. Then you already know that the carriage itself is irreparable. But the rare-mounted engine seems to be in fine working order. My intention is to run a power cable from the engine up to the antenna. It won't last forever, but it should give us enough time to establish a connection with Coalition Warship Archer. What kind of stuff should I get in order? That's up to you. At a minimum, I would make sure you are physically and mentally prepared for an intense and difficult process. Once we begin, there can be no interruptions. At the very least, you should make sure you're wearing a good pair of gloves. Radio engineers typically carry overpriced solvent sprays to clean the antenna connections. But in a pinch, some common ammonia works just fine. Finally, there's the question of stimulants. Some people prefer to keep legal amphetamines on hand to help with their work. I'm not one of them, but they do exist. Hmm. So she <laughs> tells me to do drugs. But I don't uh, have speed and have... Um, a source to get speed right now. So this isn't the first time you've uh, hang around speed freaks, is it? It is possible that technical fields attract a certain kind of personality. I haven't given it much thought. Hang on, I need some time to prepare. That's fine. Return to me when you're ready to go. Mm, well, I don't 
know where to get speed, but she told something about the cleaning uh, substance. We could buy ethanol from our friend. This could help. And uh, if we need... If she said we need speed, then it's going to be related to interfacing probably a lot. The legend is it. You know the drill. Smoke up. Who's the money for the spirits? Just make sure to enjoy that one, friend. That was by My kind of guy. Some Here you go, friend. Bottoms up, Cap. I'm good at on health and uh mental health I think oh it's I uh, you can't actually use it <laughs> and you can sell it for more the liquid has an unearthly blue tint the kind that makes or that m might or might not be <clears throat> The kind that might or might not, but uh, definitely does glow in the dark. This is 98.7 pure alcohol. Keep it away from an open flame. <clears throat> it's strange that they have coma here, uh, even though in English it's usually a dot. Is it a British thing or? Okay, anything else I can do? Could do some cigarettes. safe yes what is it I'm ready now let's contact Archer very good if you'll help me with some of this equipment then back across the water now at least we are getting our exercise in today if you'll please carry that amplifier officer and if you'll take that spool of cable we should be able to move it all in one trip So it should go to the motor carriages, the lorries, I mean. <laughs> yeah. And we didn't have to convince everybody to use their their cars this way. 
And now if you'll just connect Or is it just here... statue? It's done. I believe we are ready. The lieutenant wipes uh, his wipes his brow. We're ready to try at least. Please put on these headphones. There should be two extra sets. I've configured the channel so that only your microphone is set to broadcast, officer. We'll all be able to listen, but anyone we reach will only hear your voice. You will need to transmit your connection request while I attempt to locate the warship's public frequency. You will likely encounter some interference, but it's important to keep transmitting your request until you're acknowledged. Ready? Wait, what if they never acknowledge me? Then it will be exactly like every other moment of every other day. I ask again, are you ready? Yes. Good. Beginning transmission. Horseback antenna. Go ahead, officer. Officer Firework Walker. Officer of Tequila Sunset. Rafael Ambrosius Cousteau. Coalition Warship Archer, this is Lieutenant Harrier Dubois of the RCM. Please acknowledge. You're all alone out there, wandering a blasted heath calling out to the night, but there is no reply, except for the buzzing of invisible machines. The lieutenant looks up at you with a nervous glance. Nervous for who, though, you cannot say. Try again, officer. Coalition warship Archer, this is uh, Lieutenant Dubois, please acknowledge. Perhaps you're simply imagining it, but it seems as though you're learning to pull apart the fibers of this auditory felt. You focus on one strand in particular, one that sounds very nearly human. Nein, Liebling, das lasse ich nicht zu. Wie kannst du unsere Lungen bloß auf einen dieser Dinger nach Brede fortschicken? Hello, Archer, do you acknowledge? Marianne, mir erzählt, dass Oscar nicht mehr seid ihr auf einem Luftschiff aus Gras zurückgekommen. Kein in die Psychologen für vollkommen normal. Aber sie hat das Gefühl, seit seiner Rückkehr mit einem Fremden zusammenzuleben. Something about her son going to Vredford on an aerostatic to see some psychologists. Or maybe it's the psychologists saying it's normal to have feelings for strangers. Foreign languages were never your strong suit. Suna, is uh, this more of that uh, anthropomorphic crosstalk? Liebling, bitte. Er ist unser einziges Kind. Er kann auch nächstes Jahr zur Akademie gehen. It's very likely, based on what we've recently learned. Give me a moment while I attempt to narrow the receiving mode. In the meantime, you must keep trying. Coalition warship Archer, this is Lieutenant Dubois. If you are there, Archer, please acknowledge. Again? Coalition Warship Archer, this is Lieutenant Dubois. Do you acknowledge? It's gone now. Oh, Kim. What the hell? So we get the crosstalk from Kim saying this? What are you talking about, Cam? It's perfectly nice out. I didn't say anything, Detective. Someone has been maintaining it. The wiring has been repaired. Hmm. Is that something he said at some point in the game? An uncomfortable silence falls over the connection. It's been a long winter. Are you going to tell me you didn't say that, either? I promise you I didn't, even though it certainly sounds like me. 
the lieutenant seems to wince at the sound of his own voice. Could this be more anthropogenic crosstalk? Yes, a particularly eerie specimen, but still just a harmless piece of the past returning to surface. Though the <laughs> chance that we will hear Kim out of all the people <laughs> is very slim. Right. I just wish I could remember what I was talking about. Natürlich halten ihn die Psychologen für vollkommen normal. Great. Does my cigarette effect already worn out? Wow. If I did speed, it would <laughs> would be in vain too. Like what the hell? Shit. What? This is not good. <laughs> One more door is ready. So can we? So what can we do about it? What else is there to do? Keep trying. <sighs> Coalition worship archer, do you acknowledge? This is the Tanya Dubois. But someone has been maintaining it. The wiring has been repaired. Dubois, please acknowledge. Archer. This is the Tana de Bois. Can you hear me? Liebling, bitte. Er ist unser einziges Kind. Where is she, Pastor? Please identify. The signals are getting increasingly mixed. Plucking Archer's signal from this will be like isolating a single strand from a tangle of hair. It's not working. The crosstalk is simply too strong. What can we do? I did not expect simply locating the signal to be so difficult. She appears to be concentrating very intently. We must consider several variables. Local anthropogenic conditions, the sophistication of our transceiver, the quality of our connections, and the physics of our antenna itself. Our transceiver is perfectly capable, so there is no problem there. And we're also unlikely to change our local anthropogenic conditions. So, the next step is to thoroughly inspect our connections. How am I supposed to inspect the connections? You need to climb up there and look at them for yourself. Uh-oh. Uh, she stares at you as though it were obvious. Her hand gestures to colorful cables dangling from the horse's four hooves. Can't Kim do it? I don't want to die. But you don't have the technical expertise. Yeah, that too. Someone has been maintaining it. Something about this setup seems dimly familiar. But you'll be damned if you know what you're supposed to do. Someone has it. been maintaining it, he said. Is this... <laughs> so is that the phrase from the future? He said... Images of your body smashed against the pavement flood your mind. This is dangerous. But I don't know what I'm doing. That's true, but I can't leave my station, so it will have to be you. What? Why can't you leave your station? We also <laughs> reached the the station archer and decided to give up at that point. But what if I sleep in a fall? Then you might break your neck. She replies matter of factly. Okay, let's do this. It actually shows it. <laughs> Crazy. I would uh, bet on a black screen instead. Why is it so dark? It's not so Your gloves dark give you a solid grip on the metal bar. This feels pleasingly familiar. You don't exactly cut a lithesome figure, but after several moments of scrambling, you manage to hoist yourself atop the monument. All right. <laughs> 
So far, no uh, checks. So this might be uh, um, the title screen image. That performance was frankly an embarrassment. Ah, oh, come on. You didn't fall at least. That was pretty bad. I hope nobody saw it. You're doing all right, detective. Just keep your focus on the task at hand. Examine the connections. The connection itself is nothing more than a little braid of exposed wire wrapped about the hoof of the horse. A copper fetter, it cannot slip. The whole monument is covered in a thin but durable layer of oil and grime. It's obvious no one has cleaned it in years. The programmer mentioned ammonia, but anything alcoholic should dissolve the oils, creating a cleaner and clearer connection. Pour some of some alcohol over the connections. It takes a few moments, but the alcohol gradually begins to break down the oils surrounding the copper wiring. Is this really the time, detective? It's all right, Lieutenant. He's simply cleaning the connections. Once the oils have been dissolved, you wipe off the connections with your sleeve and reattach the cable. Did that help? Made some difference, but unfortunately, not How do we change the shape of the What uh, would uh, changing the shape of the antenna do? Ideally, narrow the receiving mode so that we can isolate the warship signal and eliminate the crosstalk. But if you don't know what you're doing, of course you could just make it worse. How do we change the shape of the antenna? What do you mean? You adjust the antenna manually, with your hands. I'm afraid we're out of alternatives. You're just going to have to go for it. She's right. The responsibility is yours, and yours alone. There's no turning back now. <laughs> I guess the statue kind of looks like uh, a part of the like antenna plate. I mean, the central part that has um, like these lines going up, and then um, a, 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 a thing. <laughs> A big cylindrical thing, like circle, uh, at the end of it. Interfacing three. Attempt to narrow the receiving mode manually. Yeah, that's not happening. Look at Philip the Third. You are face to face with Philip the Third. The Bronze King looks toward the west. Something about his features seems bizarrely distorted. Not intentionally. It's a matter of perspective. The king was never meant to be seen from such an angle as you've attained. His imperious gaze leads you naturally to his outstretched hand, which for some reason strikes you as sadly empty. Come on. Kings and sabers are so played out. There's a better way. Hmm. Wait, what's this better way? Why not arm the good king's valiant steed instead? There seems to be just enough room between its teeth there. Hmm. Well, it's dull anyway, I guess, but... That's brilliant! 
To your surprise, the saber slides snugly between the horse's bared teeth. There is no way that is going to make any difference. <laughs> Why don't you? Uh? It's making a very slight difference. The signal is a bit clearer than it was. What the fuck? <laughs> Look at the horse. This faithful steed cuts a dashing figure with the replica saber between its teeth. Look up. A clear sky. The kind of day where anything might happen. Across the river, you can see Coalition Warship Archer tracing its gradual circuit above Revachal East. Look down. A few of the idle lorry drivers and strike breakers gesture at you with their cigarettes, more out of curiosity than anything else. From the window of one of the adjacent apartment buildings, an older woman leans out, her heavy breasts sagging. Yeah, that part was really necessary. She yells a single word you can't make out, and then shuts the window with a violent thunk. Big pigo. Uh, she said if I fail I'll make it worse. There's no way to just not touch it. <laughs> Well, I guess let's do it. Attempt to narrow the receiving mode manually. Didn't work. I already know the outcome because of the healing. Ah, shit. I lost the saber too. I hope it I hope I can pick it up. You allow the broken hunk of metal to clatter to the ground. It wasn't clear to you it did anything anyway. I'm sorry, I was trying to do good. But you didn't. You made things worse. She's right. This was your responsibility. I had no other... <laughs> Why there was no way to back out of it? It's so annoying. Damn it. Because I would back out. I'm power supply. I doubt it will last more than a few minutes, so you'd better make them count. A maelstrom of sound. Swirling and swirling around an invisible point. It's mounting. Mounting. Nicht mehr derselbe ist weiter auf einem Luftschiff aus Graz zurückgekommen ist. Wir sind unterbrochen. Please respond. It's too much. Your eardrums are throbbing, about to burst. A long winter, long and cold. Ah, so, uh, part that we heard from Kim. Uh, they didn't apply the the filter of like so it would uh, you you could hear the crackling and all of that as if uh, he was talking in the radio and they didn't so they didn't do so right now too that was confusing because I thought the Kim said this thing to me in person and then nothing try now. Coalition Worship Archer, this is Lieutenant Harrier Dubois of the RCM, please acknowledge. This is Worship Archer. We are acknowledging and accepting you. Though we are still getting quite a bit of interference. This is the best we can do. I suggest you get to your business quickly. I doubt I'll be able to maintain even this connection very long. This is it. You're finally getting to speak with those who hold real power. And by that they mean the ones with the guns and the warships. There is so much you wish you could ask, but you probably only have time for one or two questions before the signal is lost. Please be advised that you are speaking on a public frequency. What is your request? Where is the 
question about out oh, there. <laughs> hmm. Should I waste time? Who am I speaking with? You are currently speaking with Collision War Departure, flagship of Insurcom Forces in Revason. Wow, the coalition has talking warships? Of course not. It's simply a rhetorical convention. A common synecdoche. We are the sack of signalers. Sure, but who are you? I need to know your name. Our name is not important. All you need to know is that we hold the position of second signaler aboard the ark. You really don't have the faintest guess what her name could be. You were never very good at this sort of thing. There's something in the way she refers to herself. Always with the first person plural. A deliberate blurring of the boundary between herself and the institution she represents. Not to mention the airborne artillery platform she works on. Her every word is backed up by the most powerful ordinance available. Just one uh, thing, uh, why do you keep referring to yourself with a plural? Because it's standard practice for signalers to use the pluralis officialis during the course of our duties. It's meant to serve as a reminder that we don't speak only for ourselves. For instance, as second signaler, we represent Coalition War Sipata, which in turn represents Insurcom and the Coalition more generally, which in turn represents the Moralist International, which itself represents the interests of 1.2 billion people across the world. Meaning, she's the voice of all those living souls. <laughs> Jesus. So when I'm talking to you, it's like I'm um, talking to all humanity? No, of course not. There are many nations outside the moral interest umbrella. In Seoul, Samara, and elsewhere. At most, you might say the moral inter represents between a quarter and a third of humanity. Perhaps you could say that we represent the interests and hopes of a great many people. But you could say, just as easily, that we are the assistant to the secretary of a factotum. No more remarkable than the lowest cashier of a common fleet. It all depends on your perspective. We are not doing great at uh, getting to the point. <laughs> Who is the secretary? The chief signaler, our superior. They are ultimately responsible for all communications aboard the Arthur. But now we've wandered quite far afield. What was your request? I'm not joking, officer. I'll only be able to hold the signal open for a few more moments. What you came here to ask, ask it now. Is everything alright? God damn it. Listen, I really need to reach the com com committee of responsibility. Acknowledge. To reach the committee, all you need to do is fill out the appropriate request form and submit it to the liaison for public affairs. If the liaison accepts your request, you will be invited to address the committee at their next quarterly public hearing. We believe the next hearing is scheduled for July. Uh oh. <laughs> History of prank calls minus one. Minus one superstar ego. Won't let the past go. Hmm. Shit. I actually was hoping you could patch me through the, to the committee directly. We're afraid. That is quite impossible, Lieutenant on the boss. What do you mean? We cannot transfer you to the committee because we are not entrusted with that responsibility. We are simply the second signal. Then, why are you wasting time with her? You should demand to speak with who's really in charge.
Should we turn on the Karen mode? Oh, I get it, so the real power is even higher up. That is the nature of the command pyramid, yes. Most modern organizations work in a similar way, even the FCM. This line of argument is quite pointless. You should abandon it. Damn it. What if I uh, need to reach the committee a bit sooner? Not a problem. If this is a time-sensitive matter, you may file an emergency address request with the liaison for public affairs. They typically respond within a few weeks. Ah, <laughs> uh, the odds are not in my favor here. And how do they know about the prank calls? Come on, <laughs> you can do it, Harry. This yes. isn't about you, Jesus. not really. It may have been at a certain point, but you've let go of that perspective. This is about your responsibility to all of Revachon. La responsabilité. Now, take a deep breath. Look upward. You don't have to bear the burden alone. Okay, it might not be over. Uh, listen to me, the situation in Martinez is a powdering, powder keg. If the coalition doesn't interfere, intervene, uh, many people will die. What? How do you know this? Yeah, because my action that lead me to believe we are headed to a violent confrontation between the Union and the Wild Pines. Things are really bad down here, like really bad. Damn, damn it, there is no time to explain. Uh, yeah, weird that they have these two when this is just so much more convincing. I, I, I'm guessing if if I was a bad cop, I won't wouldn't be able to know this, right? And so I would only have these two. That's why it's happening. I've uncovered things in uh, the course of my investigation that lead me to believe that we are headed up to a violent confrontation between the Union and the Wild Points. Lieutenant Dubois, this is a very serious claim. Please describe the situation as succinctly as possible. We will forward your summary to the committee. There's papers rustling in the background. She's clearing her desk preparing to take notes. There, you've wedged your foot in the door. Now, if you could show the Coalition how much they're needed, they'll have no choice but to intervene. You have the facts. Just lay them out beneath the cold light of reason. <sighs> the Wild Pines has recently lost control of a paramilitary death squad called Krenel. For one, the Wild Pines has been completely shut out of the strike negotiations. I haven't worked out the details yet, but there is something weird going on with the Wild Pines. Well, two of them are equally good. What they mean by a lost control? Did they lost control of the Krenel? Like what? I guess uh, Joy said that they don't communicate with her and she's a representative of uh, Wild Pines, so that makes sense. But I kind of thought that maybe they contacted with some higher ups and not her, but yeah, whatever. The wild points. Uh, this sounds more scary, I guess. <laughs> uh, recently, lost control of a paramilitary death squad called Colonel. Please continue. We're listening. Huh. Oh, 
Uh, I've also uncovered evidence that the union may, may also be over maybe orchestrating a takeover of a local fishing village. We have it. Is there anything else the committee should know? You hear the sound of uh, her pens scratching against paper. Thank you. Before you answer that, I urge you to weigh your words extremely carefully. The lieutenant is afraid you're going to say something too outré. Now that you mentioned it, I learned something very strange about the victim in my murder investigation. Yes, I've also discovered an and Tropoenetic phenomenon here in Martinez. Shit. Yeah. <sighs> thing is, <laughs> it is a crazy thing, but I would sound like a lunatic saying that. Mm. Should I mention it or not? Well, rhetoric says that I could say something very uh, out there. Is that considering the two millimeter hole in the, in the world or not? What what about this murder victim that is so strange? Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> He did give me plus two. Um, the fact that I found it plus two in the row. Shit, I. Yeah, let's go. Let's not mention it. I think this this might be it. No, what well, do you? But I have no idea what he is about to say next here. <laughs> I have learned something very strange uh, uh, about the victim in my murder investigation. We are listening. What did you learn about the victim? Ah, oh, shit. That I didn't know. What the fuck? Duh. <laughs> now they all think I'm even crazier. What the fuck? Uh, how am I supposed to know that he would say that next? God damn it! What the fuck? This is stupid. I, I want to reload just because it wasn't fair. Now. Damn, ah, fuck it. He said it was love that did him in. Oh dear. You seem to be losing the thread. And there was no option to back out of it, too. Like, come on. Come again, Lieutenant Dubois. You're saying that the victim was killed in some sort of romantic imbroglio? I don't know that love killed him, but it definitely did him in. We're afraid we're not following. Did you speak with the victim before his death? Just any, any fucking way to get out of this. Well, I say I have my ways of knowing these things. We see. So, uh, when do I get to talk to the committee? Lieutenant, we must be perfectly honest with you. We cannot recommend that you address the committee. Not under the present circumstances, at least. Cut fucking damn it. Why not? Because you're speaking like someone in the throes of a serious drug addiction. The God damn it! Your words have no connection to reality. You don't need to speak with the committee. You need to speak with your station ladder immediately. What? Just, just oh, because of one line? Oh, come on. Ah, oh, it was also so sneaky. If it was, it just told me what it would say next. I wouldn't do it. Like, what the fuck? We will pass along a summary of your report, minus any speculative or paranormal elements. Just so what unfair. The does from so there unfair. Is beyond our control. 
So, uh, that's it? That's correct. But we must say that it has been interesting to speak with you. If nothing else, the ASEAN is frequently a source of curiosity to those of us about the other. The fuck you! Now, the first signaler has informed us that we must update the receiving frequency. This connection will be cleared in four, three, Wait, uh, is, is there uh, no other way? Two, one, après le monde, le gris. Uh, what is this? After world. Uh, the pale, I guess. And the line goes quiet. Yeah, it's the phrase that was in, uh, on the mural, isn't it? The, the second part. The lieutenant gives a long sigh. As he removes his headphones, he looks up at you. I think it's best for you to climb off the statue now, detective. Your real work is done here. Just give me a minute. The sun-warmed bronze tingles beneath your fingertips and between your thighs. Your legs have grown stiff. You've been up here quite a while. You look around. The strike breakers are still shouting their slogans and waving their hand painted signs. Beneath you, the lieutenant and the programmer have begun disconnecting a few cables. There's really no point. You're beginning to feel like the little child who refuses to come down off the carousel. Good. Now give me a hand with these amplifiers. Leave the cables. I don't feel like making two trips. <sighs> What's one more trip across the water lock? The lieutenant sighs. Oh well. Well, this was an interesting collaboration. What do you think? Could I make it uh, as a radio engineer? You decapitated our antenna. No, I do not think it's a good idea. In any event, just leave that equipment here. I'll put it away in here. If you'd like, you can take one of the extra headsets. I don't need so much spare. Now, you'll excuse me. I have to get back to my home. Alright. One more floor. There is no way to open the supply depot door. Accept it. No. You cannot open all the doors. You have to <laughs> integrate this into your character. Some doors will forever remain closed, even if every single other door will open at one time or another. Maybe to a key, or maybe to some sort of tool meant for opening doors. But this one will never accede to such commands. A realization crucial to personal growth. Crucial. What if I actually uh, succeeded in the role there? But it t told me that's this uh, too. All psyche white checks unlocked. Cut! Fucking damn it! And minus one half light. Cleaning up the rooms. Have to just to get rid of it again. What if you didn't lose your memory? What if something in Martinez came and stored it all away for you to slowly open one box at a time so you can choose which parts to keep? Keep almost none of it. Only the flowers on the windowsill. Only the distant sound of a radio. Lose all the actors, the dark shadows. Leave only the still lifes. The blissful distant wash of waves. If everybody knew, you never did. She'll be coming soon. That is all. What?
Hmm. So, okay, he come to the realization that uh, his amnesia was caused by Martinez, this, this anomaly. I do like the bonuses. And also it's nice thought to, to keep. Wake up in a new life by the seaside. Suggestion, uh, hunch and rhetoric. Why should I keep this one is the question. I mean, no, this one. <laughs> Psyche white checks. What? What the fuck is this? The horrific necktie is getting ready for the end game. For the love of God, do not remove it till the magic happens. What? I still have it. No, I'm not doing it's and all. it would be minus one uh, perception and not reaction speed <laughs> but okay a giant pair of cans to keep you safe from the world this particular set seems to have changed hands several times may become sweaty after extended use <clears throat> how does this look I mean, it does give me more stats, but at the same time hurts my other stat, which is not good. I do have a lot of Inland Empire anyway. Well, is there anything else? Yes. Yes. What is it? Fucking... Uh, almost had it. Is there no way to, kick, to talk with a crab man? With a Tayago? Stands above you. This is Dolores Day. The old woman in the village was right. This must be the Dolorean Church of Humanity in Martinez, or the small pinewood church in some records. You knew of this place? It's a minor landmark, not easy to find. Most maps misplace it. It was built not long after Revachol's founding, 300 or so years ago, by first generation settlers. On the coast of an uninhabited archipelago, where only animals had roamed before, in the wild reeds. What else do you know? There used to be seven stiff churches on the coast. The Setsa, they call them. The Seven Sisters. Only one remains. The rest were burnt in the revolution, or used for building materials. We should be respectful here, although the building appears to be deserted. Uh, I do not believe we'll find an instigator here. Have you seen Something Egghead? <laughs> He looks at the machinery lying around. Respectful? Is the lieutenant a follower of DeLoreanism? There it is again. A small pang of guilt. It's time to ask him what happened here. Do you know why it was abandoned? 
I have a theory, yes. There was a police raid a while back. I heard the place was shot to pieces. The old woman in the village was being tactful with us, and she didn't mention it. She has more respect for the RCM than many around here. Who conducted this raid? Well, your station was involved, I hear. Although I can be sure. Huh. How come the lieutenant isn't sure? Is this confidential information? You are not sure? Three precincts were involved in the raid, and people say Precinct 41 was one of them. Oh, I don't remember being here. I am pretty sure it was a clandestine operation. I don't know anything more about it, why it was conducted, or who participated. I try not to pry into extra district matters. A very, very skilled thespian would detect a touch of drama when he says he doesn't know why it was conducted. You are leaving something out. I assure you I'm not. He looks up at the stained glass window. Stonewalling. Good technique. If I was here, I should find out what I was doing. Good luck. You will not get information on a confidential operation from your station secretary just by calling. If you really don't remember, it might be better to keep this one forgotten. It happened a while ago. It's an important to our business in Martinez now. Kim, are you a follower of Dolorianism? Yes, we all are. Her name, body and rule are synonymous with humanism. The laws we enforce are Dolorian in origin. Yo, I didn't uh, think you were spiritual. It's not spiritual, it's constitutional. The Dolorian system does not demand faith, only accordance. Can I actually proceed with this? Because it's not a task. Well, uh, I'm going to take a break now. Uh, I'll uh, try to pry about this uh, raid in the, in the radio and uh, uh, talk to our, our partners in the whirling and rags and after I'll uh, uh, go for the main story <laughs> it updated my uh, psyche roles but I didn't have any like this one is not real and yeah others I don't have great fucking wasted a whole skill point Well, see you soon.